Well, welcome back to Fishitis, everyone. I'm flying solo again today. It's toward the end of May. I'm gonna go for some small mouths. Got jerk baits, got tubes, got Ned rigs. Let's see what kind of mood they're in. Start off fast and switch to slow if they're not hitting. There's a hatch going on, of course, Mayfly hatch. It's calm right now. I'm hoping that the wind picks up because I don't want to get eaten alive by flies or they don't really bite you, but they land all over you. So hopefully the wind will pick up. It's from the west. Water temperature is right about 60, 61 degrees. I'm hoping that they're not all up on the beds right now. I don't think they are. I think they're still searching. I think they're right just about to get on the beds. I don't really like fishing for them on the beds, but we'll see what happens. Come along. Yes, baby! There's one. Ah. Ned rigged one. Little little guy. Alright. Little male. Well, it's a start to the day. Is that a little female? I should not be boat flipping that fish. <laughs> oh man. Well, I should not have boat flipped that fish with the light gear I'm using. But oh, it's a start to the day. It's actually a little female, I think. I threw the X wrap out for I gave it 13 minutes exactly. And I didn't get anything to follow. It's calm. And so I went with the Ned rig with the yoga pants color. Just a small four inch Ned and first cast. Little female, way to start the day, yes. Let's try this X wrap back up in here real quick. Got it shallower than I've been fishing it. Bottom or I had a fish. There's one. All right. They're up shallow. Fish are definitely up shallow. The little males. Well, just caught a female, but the, uh, it might be another female. The fat, fat fish. fighting but it's because he's hooked in the head. I gotta net this fish because I don't want to get hooks in my fingers. Come here fishy. Come here. There we go. Alright. Uh. <laughs> Little male. Hit the X-Wrap up, up way up shallow. 
Yeah, they're swimming. They're, they're, I think they're what they're doing is they're, they're up in like two, three feet of water and they're just cruising around waiting for the females to lay their eggs. The females, I got that one, the first one was a female, but a little male will take it. Right. Good one. Stay on there. Good fish. All right. All right. When in doubt, go you know where. <laughs> right. Right. Come here, fish. You're a good one. You are a good one. Yeah. All right. Oh. Woo, good fish, good fish. All right. I'm gonna tell you a little secret. <laughs> As if nobody's gonna know where I'm fishing. When in doubt, go by where you launched the boat. Never fails. I just remember fishing bass tournaments years ago. And at the end of the day, you'd end up fishing near where you launched just because you had to get to the weigh-in quick. You always catch one or two. Oh, I'm having a tough day. I caught two earlier. Threw a tube jig out. I, I'm like, where am I gonna go? I, okay, let's go back to the launch. Sure enough, rewards me with a three and a half pushing four pounder all right good job let's go there's one hey maybe a little better than that last one eh, about the same oh give me some acrobats though Tell ya, an well, acrobatic one. Put that on anchor. Some little guys back in here. A little bit bigger. I'll tell you what. This fish has been eating some, eating well. He's been eating well healthy looking little fish. So PB and J switched over to the peanut butter and jelly color Ned rig. I got a 1 20th ounce head on there so it's just kind of fluttering down to them. So you got to do it when they don't want to eat. This one I think just filled up on some crayfish or something. Yeah. Healthy fish. On the PB and J I just keep throwing it out and hooking fish, so I don't know what to do here. There's big ones swimming around. <sighs> I mean, you gotta go with the action you're having, right? You can't get a little pattern going. Found something that works. Yeah, I definitely talk to myself when I'm fishing. It's like I'm doing now. I'm trying to figure things out constantly. Constantly trying to figure them out. You find you try to find a pattern is what you do when you're fishing for anything really, but bass in particular. Try to find a pattern, and I found one. But they're smaller fish, but <laughs> beggars can't be choosers, I guess, huh? Is that how the saying goes? That's the way it goes. One. He's way in there. <laughs> I'm 
with them. And there's a smaller one. I think it might be a little bit better. It is a little bit better. I keep saying that, but it is a little bit better. Yeah. There's a female. There's the female. Wow. Female. Yay. Fat female. Right. We will take that for show. PB and J, little female. Ugh. All right, well, it's probably a little bit crazy, and I'm calling that small, but compared to the small miles we've been getting this year, that is, <laughs> believe it or not, but that's a very close to a three pound fish. And on the PBJ, got the pattern. I was catching a bunch of males. She's got some loose eggs in her. I must have thrown it right near where she's gonna nest, but. All right. Ooh, well, that is it for me. It was tough in the beginning, but I figured out a pattern. Got them on the good old Ned rig. The fish were in a really negative mood. And that's all that was working. Well, I caught a few on X wraps, but and a few on the tube jigs. I actually got my biggest on a tube jig, but fishing a lot of wood, getting too snagged up too much of the tube jig, I put a really light 120th ounce Ned Head rig on, and that's, that did the ticket. I, I still got some snags, but I was able to really keep it out of the wood for the most part, and ended up getting a bunch of fish, a bunch of small ones. Nothing to get the scale out the way. That's okay. Good day on the water. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Fishitis.